Demetrius and Fotini, there are so many people here that want to wish, wish you all of life's goodness and blessings. There's so many priests that are praying for you and hold you in your heart and want to share with you their joy, their happiness, their wishes for all of you. Your name, Fotini. You know, we always we always celebrated that as our as our sunshine, as the one who brings light. And you've just radiated this week. Everything, the sun today, without a cloud in the sky, when the weather was reporting, you know, rain or clouds, and it was supposed to be so cold. No. Because those who honor God, He honors. Demetrius. I asked my daughter, I know what I see in your husband, but what do you see in your husband? Tell me what you see in this man. She just looked at me and she knew right away. She didn't have to say much. She just said, Dad, he is golden. He is golden. I heard early on that, that you learned not to say much at home. <laughs> but that is actually one of your virtues, is it? That you listen, you take everything to heart, and you considered so carefully who you were going to choose to be your bride. So much that you waited that the first person you ultimately would take as your girlfriend would be that one. And you make our daughter Fotini Golden. You bring out the very best in her. The day I met Fotini was two or three days after she was born. And since that time, we were honored to be able to be the godparents and what we've done is we've been watching her grow from a little girl, growing up through life. And, you know, as everyone has been saying, what a beautiful girl she was and woman she's become. And we've had the blessing of watching her, watching her navigate life, watching her learn about herself, 
watching her understand who you are and learning about, you know, who you are as a child of God and understanding your identity and your faith, you know, and growing in the church and going through the decisions in life. And today, to get to witness you, have someone come right along your side. And in many ways, that's what marriage is. You're not changing your path. But today, we watch you up there at the altar on that same path of growing, but now to have someone by your side. And to have such, to watch your wisdom and to know that you have chosen a man that you're going to follow on that path. But in order to know who to choose, you need to know that path. And then here comes this guy who's going on that path. So I'm going to follow that guy because he's going on that path. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Brethren, always and for everything, give thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. Be subject to one another out of reverence to Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as to the Lord. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Even so, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no man ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, and Christ does the church. Because we are members of his body, for this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Two weeks ago, I had the honor of being in a place called Grand Rapids, Michigan. And it's the only place I've ever gone where my claim to fame was, I'm Fotini's godfather. <laughs> and I wanted to tell them, you have no idea the woman that this guy is marrying. And then to hear them answer, you have no idea the man that this girl is marrying. And when I heard that, I said, that is exactly what I want to hear. That it sounds like you're marrying a guy who knows this path, who knows who he is and which way he goes and is going to take you by the hand and go in that direction. And so we now send you off doing what we can for you, but also letting you know we're not far away. Our lives all change this day. She's yours, Demetrius, to love and to cherish and to care for. And he's yours, Fotini. May we see that love mature between the two of you as a beacon of light world in which we live. And now you make us right. <laughs> May 21st, 1992. What a glorious day that was. Deepak came into my world. Holy God, it was cool. God, it was cool. But, November 9th, 2019, that's, that's right up there. That, that might be, I don't want to say it's going to surpass, but man, that was right there. And why is it right there, and why maybe it might surpass it? Because my boy, who came in in, 2000, in, in, in 1992, in 2019, he brought me another daughter. Wow! And for those who know, I love my girls. You know, I love my girls. I love my girls. He brought me another daughter. Holy cow. But it gets better than that. That's why this day might be the coolest. Because it gets better than that. He not only brought me another daughter, but he brought me a whole nother family. Huh? And 
for those who know, I love, I love families and I love parties and I love family parties. And now I got a whole other family to party with. You know, a three-year-old goes up to a teenager and is like, how are you? Tell me about your life. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> but Denise does that. She does that with everybody. She always has time for people in her life. But her smile's gotten bigger. Didn't think that was possible, but it has. <laughs> Ever since she met Demetrius, she has shined brighter. She has somehow become more perfect <laughs> by loving you, Diva. And I, I could not be happier that she's met someone like you. As you are undoubtedly aware, Debuck and I share the same name, Demetrius. Because of this, for the better part of our childhood, we thought we were twins, contrary to popular belief. And then, you know, we always talk and catch up and we always have these long phone conversations and we always just want to be there for each other. And then one day, I heard the name Fotini pop up. He was smitten with love. I thought he was going to sing Fotini. I just met a girl named Fotini. And then I realized I had to meet her. So, you know, we met and I think I knew within the first five seconds, I was like, oh, he's gonna marry this girl. He didn't even tell me, I just knew you were gonna marry her. Cause she's amazing, she is beautiful, she is stunning, and there's so many great words about you that have been said tonight that I can't even pile on. But I knew it from the first time I saw you that he was gonna marry you. Dee and I have been friends really since kindergarten or first grade. And Fotini, you know this already, but Dee is immensely kind. He always speaks well of each other. And I admire the fact that he can gently remind others when they are not doing the same. And I'm blessed to be here next to you guys, and I'm excited to be a part of this next step.